Today, we embark on a journey to explore the intriguing world of conspiracies surrounding the Vatican. While some might dismiss these theories as mere speculation, others believe there's more to the story than meets the eye. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button to join our quest for truth. The Vatican's Hidden Archives The Vatican's Hidden Archives, formerly known as the Archivum Apostolicum Vaticanum, is a historical repository of documents and records maintained by the Vatican. Many conspiracies revolve around the idea that the hidden archives contain secret and suppressed information about various historical events, religious doctrines, and even extraterrestrial life. Some theorists suggest that these documents could contain evidence of ancient conspiracies, hidden truths about the origins of Christianity, or knowledge of advanced civilizations. The archives house an extensive collection of historical documents and manuscripts spanning over a thousand years of history. Conspiracy theories often speculate that these documents may contain information that challenges mainstream historical narratives or reveals hidden agendas of the Catholic Church. Some theories claim that the Vatican is deliberately hiding certain ancient texts or religious scriptures that do not align with traditional Catholic teachings. These texts are thought to contain alternative narratives about the life of Jesus, early Christianity, or the nature of God. Conspiracy theorists often suggest that the Vatican, throughout history, has actively suppressed and censored documents within its archives to maintain its power and control over religious and historical narratives. Here are some of the most interesting documents that have been found in the Vatican secret archives. The Shinan Parchment. This document contains the transcripts of the trials of the Knights Templar. A military order that was accused of heresy in the 14th century. The Galileo Transcripts. These documents contain the transcripts of the trial of Galileo Galilei, who was accused of heresy for his views on heliocentrism. The Hitler Pius XII Letters These letters contain correspondence between Adolf Hitler and Pope Pius XII who has been accused of not doing enough to stop the Holocaust. In recent years, the Vatican has made efforts to digitize and make more historical documents available to the public, though some documents remain classified for various reasons such as privacy concerns or the preservation of delicate materials. The Illuminati's Connection The theory that the Vatican is connected to the Illuminati is a popular one. The Illuminati was a real secret society founded in Bavaria in 1776, but it was outlawed by the Bavarian government in 1785 and is believed to have disbanded shortly thereafter. The Vatican, on the other hand, is a religious institution that has been around for centuries. There are a few reasons why people might believe that the Vatican and the Illuminati are connected. First, both organizations are secretive. The Illuminati was a secret society, and the Vatican is a religious institution that does not disclose all of its inner workings to the public. Second, both organizations have been accused of being involved in nefarious activities. The Illuminati was accused of plotting to overthrow governments and establish a new world order, and the Vatican has been accused of covering up child sex abuse by priests. However, there is no evidence to support the claim that the Vatican and the Illuminati are connected. The Illuminati disbanded over 200 years ago, and there is no evidence that it has ever been involved in the Vatican or any other religious organization. The claims of a connection between the two are likely based on anti-Catholic sentiment and conspiracy theories. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in the Illuminati, thanks in part to popular culture such as the novel, Angels and Demons, and, The Da Vinci Code. These works have popularized the idea that the Illuminati is a powerful and secretive organization that is working to control the world. However, there is no evidence to support these claims. The truth is that the Illuminati is a largely forgotten organization. It is unlikely that it has any real power or influence in the world today. However, the myths and legends surrounding the Illuminati continue to fascinate and intrigue people. Alien Secrets in the Vatican the conspiracy theories surrounding connections between the Vatican and aliens are based on a combination of historical events, religious beliefs, and speculation about extraterrestrial life. While there is no concrete evidence to support these claims, they have captured the imagination of some individuals and have been the subject of various books, documentaries, and online discussions. The Vatican, as the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, has a long history of exploring the intersection of science, theology, and the cosmos. The Church played a significant role in the development of astronomy during the Renaissance and the study of celestial bodies. This history has led some conspiracy theorists to suggest that the Vatican may have hidden knowledge about aliens. The Vatican operates an astronomical research institution known as the Vatican Observatory, which conducts scientific research and studies celestial phenomena. 
Conspiracy theorists often point to this as evidence that the Vatican is interested in or has secret information about extraterrestrial life. Some conspiracy theories claim that the Vatican is preparing for the revelation of extraterrestrial life and is developing a theological framework to incorporate aliens into the Catholic faith. They argue that the Church may already have theological documents or doctrines related to aliens. Other theories suggest that the Vatican has had secret encounters or communications with extraterrestrial beings and is withholding this information from the public. These claims are typically not supported by credible evidence. The Vatican has, on occasion, commented on the possibility of extraterrestrial life. In 2008, the Vatican's chief astronomer, Brother Guy Consolmano, stated that the existence of aliens would not contradict the Catholic faith and that the Church would baptize an extraterrestrial if the need arose. This statement has been taken out of context by some conspiracy theorists to support their claims. It's important to note that the Vatican has not officially endorsed any conspiracy theories about its involvement with aliens, and the majority of scientists and scholars view these claims as unfounded and lacking in credible evidence. The Vatican Observatory primarily focuses on scientific research and does not engage in the search for extraterrestrial life. The Vatican Bank's Shady Dealings Conspiracy theories regarding the Vatican Bank's shady dealings have circulated for decades and have been the subject of various controversies and investigations. While some of these claims have been sensationalized, there have been instances of financial impropriety and scandals associated with the Vatican Bank. The Vatican Bank, officially known as the Institute for the Works of Religion, was founded in 1942 and serves as the financial institution of the Holy See. It manages assets and provides banking services to the Catholic Church worldwide. The Institute has faced accusations of money laundering, particularly in the 70s and 80s. Some conspiracy theories suggest that the bank was involved in facilitating illegal financial transactions and moving money for various criminal organizations. These allegations have led to concerns about the bank's transparency and accountability. Over the years, there have been several scandals and investigations related to the Vatican Bank's operations. Notable incidents include the collapse of Banco Ambrosiano in the 1980s, which had ties to the Vatican Bank. The bank's chairman, Roberto Calvi, was found dead in mysterious circumstances in London. These events fueled conspiracy theories about the Vatican Bank's involvement in financial wrongdoing. In response to these allegations and controversies, the Vatican Bank has undergone various reforms to enhance transparency and compliance with international financial regulations. Despite reforms, the Vatican Bank continues to face scrutiny and allegations of financial impropriety from time to time. The institution remains a target for conspiracy theories due to its historical controversies. It's important to note that while there have been legitimate concerns and issues related to the Vatican Bank's operations in the past, conspiracy theories often exaggerate these problems or attribute them to more nefarious motives than are supported by credible evidence. The Vatican has taken steps to address past shortcomings and align its financial operations with international standards. The Prophecies of Saint Malachy The Prophecies of Saint Malachy, also known as the Prophecies of the Popes, is a series of supposed predictions attributed to Saint Malachy, an Irish bishop and saint who lived in the 12th century. These prophecies are said to foretell the identities and characteristics of future popes of the Roman Catholic Church. They are considered by most scholars and church officials to be a historical curiosity rather than a genuine source of divinely inspired predictions. The prophecies are said to have been composed by Saint Malachy in the form of short Latin phrases, known as mottos, or slogans, each describing the attributes, characteristics, or historical events associated with a future pope. According to historian Arnold de Wyen, he discovered the prophecies in the Vatican archives in 1595. However, there is skepticism about their authenticity and how they came to light, leading to conspiracy theories about their origin. Some proponents of the prophecies claim that they accurately predicted the reigns of past popes, with each motto corresponding to a particular pope. The prophecies are said to culminate with a description of the final pope, often referred to as, Peter the Roman, who is supposed to preside over the church during a time of great tribulation. Most historians and experts view the prophecies of Saint Malachy with skepticism. They argue that the prophecies are vague and open to multiple interpretations, making them suitable for retroactive claims of accuracy. Critics also question the historical evidence supporting their authenticity and argue that they are likely a forgery or a later creation. These interpretations often involve stretching or twisting the original Latin phrases to fit modern figures and events. The Roman Catholic Church officially distances itself from the prophecies of Saint Malachy and does not endorse them as genuine prophecies. 
The Vatican views them as a curiosity of historical interest rather than a source of divine revelation. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of Vatican conspiracy theories.